What's going on Juicy Vapors? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy and I'm happy you're able to join me in this video. Um, everybody that knows me or seen some of my past videos knows that I have a passion and love for my household tank by Arctic. Um, it's a great tank. However, uh, if you're like me and you're vaping on a budget and you want to get a good tank that is really affordably priced, one that you can also buy uh, a five pack of uh, coils for, very, very affordable. Uh, I ran across while I was in my uh, search for my Arctic tanks and I came across this one here and it's by Easy Fill. Basically, it is a, a clone of the Arctic and I got mine in the mail today and uh, it can run everything from here let's see if you can get a snapshot of that back there you can run everything from a uh, a, a 0 0.5 0 0.2 sub ohm that'll take you all the way from your 100 watts down below a lot of us have those mods that are 100 watts and below and this is one of those tanks that I love to be able to put on pretty much any machine it's got the standard 510 thread with the 22 uh, diameter in circle um, and one of the things I really really loved about this is that it's about depending on, on where you get it it's about one-third to half the cost in price difference and you can go to easy fill tank that's e z fill f i l l tank dot com um, and here's what came Here's what came here. Let's see if I can get this covered up a little bit. The tank. We've also got a squeeze bottle for your e-juice. There is a very, very surprising, cool, innovative change in this one. What I saw that intrigued me was they have bored in there very machined very nicely a hole so that you could use the squeeze bottle and instead of turning it upside down, pulling it off, and then filling, you could actually do top side filling. Uh, the fill bottle, again, you fill it with your juice, right? And once it's filled with the juice, you just take this cool little needle, and I'll see if I can get it right in there, and you just put it in there, boop! There, see, I got it, there we go. Just get it in there, and then you can fill it up. Very cool. Now, um, just to open it up and see what's under the hood here, uh, we've got your standard, your standard top. This is just from the aerial view, but there's that top side fill hole. You don't need to pull that out. You just dip, you simply put that uh, needle, the bottle, up top there, and you just fill it up. Uh, down below, very same. Uh, you'll notice that it, it pretty much clones the Arctic all the way around, made from stainless steel as well, and the bottom has the twin turbine uh, coils, and you can get those in a .5 or a .2 sub ohm. Um, now you just pull that out, and see, I just got stuff dropping all over the place. Look at that. There's your standard machining inside. You can put your coil back down in there, and you know, until you're ready to change the coil, you don't really need to do that. Just put that back in here, all right, and then just put the top back on. There you go. Very easy peasy. Last thing you want to do is get your little oil dripper bottle there, get it inside, and fill. Now, of course, I'm not going to fill this tank because I already have one, and just to show you, it's the same. See, there's the top side fill. I already have one in use with my E Leaf 100 watt, and I have it setting right about now at about 80 watts. I don't, I, I, I tend to like to run just a little under because I like it warm but not hot. So here you go. By the way, I'm, I'm running my own DIY juice in there. It's a citrus fruit punch. So you'll notice it's kind of a yellowing color. All right. Well, anyway, very cool. Uh, of course, around 
the packaging. It shows you exactly how to fill, what comes in there. Uh, down below, it's got your four standards in there, which are 100% uh, made here, uh, including the Canthal wiring here in the USA. Uh, 304 stainless steel, and it's got your um, your intake holes, uh, four of them, a very nice size, keeps it very cool, and 100% uh, organic cotton, and again, you can, depending on if you're going up to 100 watt or down to 80, you can either run a, a, a 0.5 or a 0.2 sub-ohm uh, coil in there. Also, also, uh, you can go to Easy Fill, the letter E, the letter Z, Fill, F-I-L-L, Tank, dot com, and you can get your five pack of coils there. Also, they're very affordable uh, when you compare the prices to where some places, if you go to a local vape store in town, some places charge up to five, ten bucks for a coil, just one coil. You can get a five pack in your preference, again, for the uh, anything up to 80 watts, which would be your point, your point five ohm, and your point two would run up to 100 watt. So if you want to save money, up front on the tank, being able to topside fill for convenience, there's where that's at. And again, I'm going to show you the actual tank there, and you'll see the one that I have in use. I just didn't want to use another tank, that's all. So you can see the exact same one. And uh, you, can, you can get that, again, for about half the price that you would normally pay for an Arctic. Again, I love the Arctic. It, it, it can be used on a lot of different mods. That's just my home standard, kind of like my house brand that I like. But I have made the switch over to the Easy Fill uh, Tank.com. So Easy Fill Tank.com, and uh, yeah, you've got nothing to lose. I promise you, you're not sacrificing craftsmanship. You're not sacrificing flavor. The only thing you're sacrificing is not the other half of the money you'll be spending. With that being said, um. I know it's cheesy. Later.